Hi guys, welcome to your very first lecture of Python programming course. Join me together with me to learn Python from the basic. In this lecture, we're going to be set up our cloud coding environment so that you don't have to install a bunch of stuff as you're getting started. One of the website I know is called reply.it. It is an editor we are going to be using. I think it's really powerful and really flexible. Uh, shout out to my mentor uh, Jose Salvatierra for teaching me the basic of Python programming to get started. Come to reply.it and create an account. So uh, once you have logged into reply.it, you will see the top right, you will have a button to create a new reply since it's new for you. So in the, in the section, my reply should be empty for now. You can, you can also select uh, languages and your profile. Now uh, let's click a new reply. So here, there are different types of Python. There are old and new version of Python as well as uh, other frameworks that things like, uh, like that. Uh, from now, we are interested in just normal Python. Then it will allow you to create new editor for you and this what we will use throughout the entire course. So uh, you can type any name you want and description of your reply or of your new reply it so you remember which project you are working on. So when you create your reply, you will see something like this. On your left, you got your files, then in the middle, you got your code, and on the right side, you got the output of your code. By clicking at the top, you can edit uh, the name and the description. Since we are not going to be using files, we can click this little icon to close it down. The important thing here is the green button over here. Uh, whenever we type some code, you can then press the green button to run it. Then uh, you will see any output of the document on the right. The great things about Reply is uh, that you can share your editor with someone else, your partner, your teacher, even your ex. <laughs> so uh, uh, one tip for you, every time you start new lecture of this course, I recommend you to uh, create a new reply for it. Uh, create a new name and description so that it will store at your library. Now that you're all set up, let's get started learning Python. I'm so excited. I think you too, right? So uh, that's for today's video. I will see you on the next video.